Hey guys, this is a quick video on how to install the Daisy mod literally the easiest way possible. So all you have to do to install this mod, it's the simplest shit ever. Go to warum.com. You can see it right here. W O R R O M.com. This is totally legit, by the way. I would not scam people on YouTube. I don't know why people do that, anyways. So. I'll even I already downloaded it, but I'll download it for you guys anyways. So let me delete it first. Um, and actually close it. <laughs> uh, so what you do, you go to that website, go to download Daisy Updater. I must have downloaded this thing a million times for no reason at all. And it downloads in a zip file. You want to have WinRAR or one of those like extractors installed and you want to extract this to wherever the hell you like uh, desktop is an obvious uh, you know place so once it's, once it's extracted you'll see all this and there's an application inside called Daisy updater you click on that and it comes up with all these settings and stuff to fix do not mess with the download URL because it'll be it'll be what it's supposed to be. Now what you want to do if you bought the game off Steam which most people are doing now just because it's the easiest thing to do if you bought it off Steam it should be in your Steam, fo like Steam folder so you have to go find your Steam folder. You go to C Program files. Your program files will have an 86 byte if you're on a 64 bit Windows. And you scroll all the way down to Steam. You go to Steam Apps, Common, Arma 2, Operation Arrowhead. You copy where that's at. You go back to this program. You Press Control A, which highlights everything. Press Backspace, Control V, and there you go. That's where your Arma 2 folder is. Now, all you have to do is check for update. What this does is it downloads the DayZ mod for you and it sets up a folder like you see here and it installs all the mod data. And that's basically it. The next thing you do after that's all installed, you have to update your launch settings as it says in the steps right here. So what you do, you copy this, make sure it's only the, it starts at the minus and ends at the splash, the H. You go into Steam. Now if you did it in Steam, go to Properties, set launch options make sure that is right there you click OK and then you close it now for safe measure I actually did it in the Arma 2 one also but it doesn't say to do that but you know it doesn't matter and that's basically it so and then to play the game you go to Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead click play and make sure you launch Arma 2 combined operations and that's basically it and that's how you install the mod so hope you guys like that I will talk to you guys later maybe make some DayZ videos so peace out